All right, what is up everybody? So in this video, I wanted to talk about the audio interface that I've been using now for about a week, week and a half, the SSL2. If you guys have been watching these videos I've been putting out lately, you would have already known that I've been uh, working with this thing. Just kind of use this thing a little bit more and really kind of build my opinion on this audio interface and see where I stand with this thing because with these videos, I try to do my best when it comes to recommending products to you guys that I genuinely believe in. And by now I've recorded so many different songs with this thing that I think I'm in a pretty good position now to talk about this audio interface. So that's exactly what we're gonna do in this video. So let's go ahead and jump straight into it. Okay, so first things first, my experience so far with this audio interface has been nothing short of amazing. I've actually really, really enjoyed working with this thing, so much so to the point where I actually haven't felt much of a need to include any sort of external analog equipment into my vocal chain. Uh, you guys know by now by watching this channel how passionate I am when it comes to analog gear and I've really I've I made so many videos talking about this, how I think having a external preamp, dedicated preamp is pretty important. But in this situation, using this audio setup, this microphone, the TLM 103 with the SSL2, I really haven't felt any need to include any sort of analog equipment into the vocal chain. I really do think that just running this microphone into this audio interface has been perfectly enough and it sounds really good. All my recordings that I've been getting, all the songs that I've been working on, I've actually enjoyed how these sound the most out of anything I've ever recorded in the past. And not to mention just the layout in general with this thing, it's really straightforward, super easy to use. So no matter where you stand, if you're a beginner or a um, seasoned veteran, <laughs> um, when you're using this thing, it's pretty much anybody's gonna understand how to run this thing, how to use it. So thumbs up for that super simple to use. And well, it really goes without needing to be said, but of course the sound quality coming out of this thing is absolutely amazing. And especially when you factor in just how much this thing costs, I think it's like 220 bucks. I mean, that alone is just mind blowing to me that something with this amount of features packed into it is that cheap. But for $220, there's really nothing out there I believe that's going to uh, compete with this thing. I think the SSL2 is pretty much the, uh, the king right now in terms of budget audio interfaces. And not that it matters, but come on, we got to toss this in there. But aesthetic wise, this thing is absolutely beautiful. I really, really like the way that this audio interface looks. And honestly, it's like my favorite looking one that I've used so far, aside from the Apollo Twin. I think that the Apollo Twin is just it's a tank, it looks amazing, but the SSL2, I just love that like vintage style to it. Kind of like the uh, the Vault audio interfaces, I really like the way that those look as well. But yeah, aesthetic wise, SSL absolutely killed it. This thing is just beautiful in my opinion. I really like the way that this thing looks. And just a couple quick things to point out with this audio interface, because in my opinion, I do think that this is like your best bang for your buck in this price range. But the fact of the matter is this audio interface has two channels, so you can plug two microphones in simultaneously. and not not to mention the preamps on this thing are literally the best out there. The fact that this thing can supply like, I think it's like 62 or 63 decibels of gain and also has an EIN at like negative 132, 133. I mean, that is so unbelievably low. I mean, it's unheard of that you find an audio interface, especially in this price range with preamps that good. So what that essentially means is you could be using something like an SM7B without needing to use a cloud lifter, just any inline preamp, and you're not gonna get any static or hiss in your recording. So this thing has very, very clean preamps, and that's another reason why I just felt like I don't necessarily need to include a analog preamp in my vocal chain, but not to mention, um, it just sounds clean on its own already. So, but that's one of the things that stood out to me with this audio interface and one of the reasons why I like it so much. And I know that there's going to be a lot of people out there that are going to be able to get a lot of use out of that alone. Other than that, it's pretty basic, just a set of outputs for your monitors and a headphone jack. But most of you already knew that when you're looking at this thing and I mean, come on, how much are you asking for at that price range? And I already know this is going to happen, but I guarantee there's going to be a lot of people asking me, how does this thing stack up to the ID14 Mark II? And honestly, that is a video in and of itself. So I'm going to hold that off and cover that in a separate video because there's a lot to cover just which one is better for you, which one should you go after. So yeah, if you're out there looking for the best sounding audio interface that you can buy, that's going to allow you to plug in two microphones, a set of monitors, and not to mention also with those preamps, allow you to plug in something like a SM7B. Honestly, look no further. You're going to go with the SSL2. This thing is going to serve you very well. And I guarantee you that you will not be disappointed with this 
this thing. I have no problem suggesting the SSL2 as well as the ID14 Mark II, but again, I'm gonna make a separate video talking about that, just which one should you go for, because there are some noticeable differences between the two, and one of those differences may be uh, all the difference that you need in order to pick between those two. So of course, I'm gonna make a video for that, just stay tuned. Anyways, guys, if you have any further questions on the SSL2 or really just my recording setup in general, definitely leave that down in the comment section below and I will get back to you. And if you haven't already yet, be sure to like and subscribe and hit that bell icon so that you can stay notified for whenever I drop any of my upcoming videos. But I think that is going to wrap it up. So I'll see you all in my next one. Take care, everybody. Peace out.